What's going on you guys? This is Scar Lloyd One is Two here and to and today, like I said in my last review, I'm doing a review on another custom. And this time it's Nigel from Jack in the Pack. Now for those of you who um, don't know who this character is, which I'm pretty sure is a 90% of you, um <coughs> Nigel is a a cancelled character from the Thomas the Friend spin-off series Jack in the Pack, or Jack and the Sodawa Construction Company, as it was renamed to. Yeah. Anyways, um, originally, originally doing in concept art show Nigel to be like a a a, lo a, front, a lorry that transports stuff in other stuff like road vehicles and engines, and he was gonna be the the, the 20, number twenty one of the pack. <coughs> he was scrapped. He was scrapped from unknown re for unknown reasons. I think my main my main main reason is that because um they they had a character named Nelson who also has a transporter wagon. Wagon to himself, so he scrapped him. But I decided to make him because, as you may have noticed, um, <coughs> sorry. In my last review of Max and Monty, I told you I, I got Max in a separate lot with it, with his load with, it, with his load, while Monty became sep was was incomplete. I can I, I paired this Max with the Monty I found at a thrift at a thrift store, while the Monty I decided to take it to good use and make it into a custom of Nigel. So let me get to how, how, I made, how I made this. This Nigel was ob obviously a wooden railway Monty. Yeah. I painted um, his um, wheels a different shade of red to make him different from, yeah, different from, from the two troubles, troublesome dump trucks. Yep. I included some Lego tires at the back to add some more detail. The gliding feature, white, gliding feature here is still here. I painted that red. I painted the entire thing green. green. And this part was tan. His face was also changed. I made, I made his eyebrows, eyebrows different. And, and I also um, sanded down and cut off part of his, this front piece here. At the number 21, all did with a, um, with a cute toothpick, yeah. These, has, these were done with a Sharpie. And for his flatbed, I, I, I cut off a piece from a from a beat up wooden railway Ferdinand, Ferdinand tender I found, cut it in half, painted the center of the wheel, um, painted the entire thing black, and painted the wheel, center of the wheel red, and super glued it to a piece of wood, which I, did, I then super glued to a piece of, um, thing carved wood I found from, from a part of a, bo a box to, um, a, a, um, DVD display, display thing, C cut it down to the specific size, painted one side greeny and the other side um, tan, and I, I, I didn't super glue these um, little tiny magnets I had laying around that are very strong and so that way I, they can connect to this little um, screw, screw right here and yeah it can, now um, Nigel can easily glide around la layouts when he goes around curves so yeah and if you're wondering if he um, hauls stuff well he can hold ma Max for once Max for one thing and uh, let me just get a different another example. He also handles some cargo. You can handle on Jack. I tested it out. Yeah. And in case you're wondering, he can also do engines. Like for example, he was, he was Thomas. Unfortunately, there's nothing keeping them in place, but at least they stay on the flatbed, unlike the breakdown, unlike the breakdown train. So yeah, guys, that was my review on my custom Nigel from Nigel from Jack in the Pack. I hope you enjoyed this review, and Scully Ronan is too signing out.